Welcome back to Something in the Shadows. Today we're going to be diving into the convicted murderer and suspect for the Long Island serial killer case. Before we begin, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for weekly videos about serial killers. Let's go. John Bitroff is an American convicted murderer and suspect in a Long Island serial killer case. In July of 2014, he was charged with the murders of Rita Tangretti and Colleen McNamee. He is also a suspect in the murder of a third woman, Sandra Costella. Bitroff became a suspect in the unsolved murders after his brother, Timothy, was partially matched to a DNA found on the bodies in 2013. Timothy submitted the sample after violating an unrelated order of protection in 2013. On July 5th of 2017, Bitroff was found guilty of the second-degree murder of Tangretti and McNamee. He was sentenced to 50 years to life in prison on September 12th of 2017. He's imprisoned at Clinton Correctional Facility. Let's dig into the individuals. Bitroff was convicted of killing two women and is a suspect in the death of a third. Victim number one, Rita Tangretti. Tangretti was found dead on November 2nd of 1993 in Suffolk County, New York. Tangretti lived in East Patchogue and was known by the police to be a sex worker. Victim number two, Colleen McNamee. McNamee's body was found January 30th of 1994 in Shirley, New York, also in Suffolk County. Believed by the authorities to also be a sex worker, she was beaten, strangled to death, and left naked in the woods near the William Floyd Parkway. Suspected victim number three, Sandra Costella. Costella's body was found on November 20th, 1993 in North Sea, New York. After Bitroff's sentence, the case persecutor announced that Bitroff was also a suspect in at least one of the ten murders attributed to the unidentified Long Island serial killer in New York's Suffolk and Nassau counties. Suffolk County District Attorney's Office persecutor Robert Biancavella released a statement noting that Bitroff was likely responsible for the deaths of other women and that there are remains of the victims at Gilgo that may be attributed to the handiwork of Mr. Bitroff. And that investigation is continuing. Bitroff was a carpenter who lived in Manorville, where the torsos of Jessica Taylor and Valerie Mack were recovered. The remains were discovered roughly three miles away from Bitroff's home. He also reportedly once cut the heart out of a deer he had just shot and ate it raw in the woods. A further link between Bitroff and the Long Island serial killer case has been established. The adult daughter of Bitroff, victim Rita Tangretti, was reportedly best friends with Melissa Bartholomew. One of the first victims discovered at Gilgo Beach. Bartholomew's mother also reported that Melissa had a lot of calls to Manderville from her phone at the time. We're going to be continuing to put out videos regarding the Long Island Sailor Killer. This is one of the suspected individuals for this particular case. As we mentioned earlier, there are 10 murders attributed to the identified Long Island Sailor Killer. And this uh, Bitroff character was one of the people that it was associated with. So if you guys are interested in seeing this as a continued series... Maybe once a week, every other week. Let me know by leaving a comment section below. We'll dive into some of the suspects and we'll actually get into the case of the Long Island serial killer as well. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. Hope you have a horrifying day.